Okay, and here we go with Android 5. This one should be pretty interesting. I'm just going to try and get the center. There we go. Right, let's go. We're just trying normal mode again. Let's grab two this time. Recenter this. Okay, that's different. Now I have a memory of this taking absolutely ages to start, but hopefully it's wrong. Yeah, it's fine, isn't it? Maybe that was when I had it on the laptop, which was, well, it had a Core 2 Duo in it, and not all bad, but that one was. Although, frankly, I do tend to have a certain passion towards Core 2 Duos. Every single thing I've used that has had one in, or anything Core 2 based, I think I used something that had a Core 2 quad at one point, was awful and really underwhelming. That might just be me, maybe everyone else will have some, but um, they are old, like 10 years old. So, okay, so we're not doing the installation again, but it looks pretty different. -ish. I thought it was white. I thought the predominant theme in this was white. Maybe I was wrong. It's different. Never seen that before. Is it meant to do that? I don't know. I don't know if it's meant to go black, but... Anyway, here you go. I guess the brightness isn't going to do anything, is it? No. Okay. Right. So, let's have a look at this. It's probably going to be similar. Can't read the text. That's not very helpful. Never mind. So same kind of apps again. Maybe not rooted this time. Who knows? Um, Google Play. We're not going to bother with because it's going to make me want to. Going to try and make me log in. Um, customization. I'll just yeah. Here we go. Here's the standard. Why has it done that? Yeah, I guess that's a bug in because it's virtual box, I suppose. Yeah, so this is the theme bit, I suppose. Android 5.1.1 on virtual box with an older kernel. Okay. Or maybe it's slightly a bit longer ago. Oh, it is rooted then. Okay. So, the live looks like I really want them to work. Okay, so it works more or less the same. Uh, no. Oh, maybe I should give up trying. <laughs> it's not going to work, is it? Oh, I could just switch back to this again, could I? No. Okay. So you swipe to the side again, so I changed it again for some reason. More papers. No, not those ones. All those ones. Oh, I thought it just crashed. Oh, I think I might just have a choice of this or more. Okay. Let's yeah, let's just move on then. I don't know why that's not working. It's probably because it doesn't have 3D acceleration, because this was much more 3D heavy, I think. Which is why the power consumption was higher. Um, so what does it come with? Well, it has a brother. YouTube, Gmail, I guess that's email. I can't read that. Not sure, just a messaging app, I suppose. St like standard stuff, calibration, and like that. It's completely pointless, but... Is completely pointless. But I'm just interested to see how it works. Oh, okay. That's not very interesting. Close that. Come on. A bit awkward with the mouse. Oh, there we go. This doesn't work. Looks a little different. Yeah, it does. Let's try this again. Four, five, test. Everything, well, not everything, but 
very nearly everything looks like HTML4. That's pretty good. Oh, that's interesting. How can I tell? Chrome Web View 39 on an emulator running Android 5. How does it know it's on an emulator? Maybe it can detect Android X86 somehow. I wonder, maybe they have a, um, have all of those strings. What are they called? The UI? What are they called? Well, browsers sort of have the ID strings, so maybe this one sort of says it's on Android X86. Or maybe it can sometime, somehow tell I'm running this into extra box. Other apps then? I think that's supposed to be white, isn't it? Because it comes up white and then it changes. Yeah, that would make sense. I think that was how it was meant to be. Oh, never mind. So YouTube's probably not going to work unless I log in. Not too much else to look at in terms of apps then. Compatibility. Don't know what that does. I mean, what does it say? Our native libraries. Well, it won't work on this because it's running on like x86. I guess it's like a speed up thing, but I haven't seen that in any newer version of Android. I wonder whether they dropped it. Or it could just be something for Android x86. Uh, wouldn't make any sense, would it? Apparently, it's quite good to run on Chrome. Android x86. Or just old desktops. I've never tried it myself though. Might be interesting. Anywho, um, that's the last in this series I suppose, unless you want more. Let me know if you want more of these. Or also let me know if you want me to do this with some other um, operating systems or something like that. It might be some fun. Um, yeah, so I'll, I have a desktop on the way now, an AMD tower. So I'll be able to do the PXE booting stuff soon and show you. I'd kind of like to wait to show you, really. Um, I'll just really shut this down while I chat. How do I normally do this? There we go. Yeah, like in most versions you can do that. In some versions it just turns the screen off, which is a bit weird. That kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, so I'll be able to do the PXE booting. And the interesting thing is I think that machine is UEFI because it's AMD FX based, it's a bit newer, um, so I might have to mess with the PXE stuff a bit. I don't think it should be too difficult. Famous last word. But it'll take me weeks now. Let's see. Shouldn't have said that. Um, okay, I'll see you probably next week. I'll post something next week. See you later.